there, Brian here. Today I have another unboxing video for you that I'm really excited about. Sort of a bittersweet moment. I bought a uh, Asus C302 Chromebook several years ago. I believe it was 20, 2017, 2016, 2017. I don't remember, but it's been several years ago. And it is finally... Um, hit its expiration date where it's no longer going to get updates. This has been a spectacular, wonderful Chromebook. It was sort of top of the line when it first came out. Maybe not exactly the best Chromebook on the market then, but uh, it, it really was a very good Chromebook and it has served me flawlessly. It has been one of my favorite devices of my life, really. And so it's it's been hard to get used to the idea that I was uh, I was going to part with it. I do a lot of desktop desktop publishing on it. Um, I do a lot of uh, Zoom calls and and uh, not not really intensive things. I have edited videos on it, but I also probably use it most to play the most wonderful game in the gaming ecosystem these days, No Man's Sky. I've been playing it since the beginning. Uh, all you haters who hated it in the beginning, I loved it anyway. So I needed to replace it for those purposes. Um, I, I wanted to keep things simple. I wanted to keep it small. This fits in a, in, a, in a messenger bag that I have that I particularly like. It matches the other bags on my bike. And uh, so I wanted to, to stay with this form factor. I wanted to get something that was going to be substantial. The keyboard is kind of important to me. And uh, and I've looked and looked and looked and I tried to convert to Windows again and that just didn't happen. Uh, and uh, so I was looking for another um, Chromebook. The Asus Chromebook currently out that is, that is uh, uh, the, the most wonderful Chromebook they say is the uh, Asus CX5400 I think. And uh, and who knows, maybe it is. It is a thing of beauty, but it can't be had right now. So I was looking at Best Buy, and I found the Lenovo Duet 5, which is a Chromebook tablet with a keyboard. And I thought, well, that's novel. It's about the same size as my old C302, my Asus. And uh, I, I do love Lenovo design. And so I thought, well, I'll try it. And it was only $369 at Best Buy. This is the, the upgraded version with uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. And I believe it has 128, yeah, 128 gigabytes of storage. So let's open this up. And uh, I thought I would need my trusty unboxing knife. But the Lenovo has a nice little pull tab. And look at that. Like I'm in a pack of chewing gum or something. Anyway, I, I watched all the videos, uh, not all the videos, but a lot of videos about this and, and decided I think this can do it. It's going to get updates uh, thanks to Google these days for the next uh, eight years. And uh, that's, that's one of my dislikes about Chromebooks, their expiration date. I, I hate it when you have a piece of tech that you just love and then all of a sudden it's out of date. But nice box. Let's see what's in the box. Let's check this little one out here. How do you get into it? I hope, I do hope the cords and power pack are all color coordinated. I hate it when they give you a black device and white cords or vice versa. There's a little black power brick. And a little bitty USB-C uh, power cord there. And now, oh, this must be the keyboard. Yeah. Set that over there. Now, the one thing that I, I've been hesitant on, this um, setup keyboard and then the, the back kickstand has a, a kind of cloth um, on the back of it and um, I really am hesitant that that's going to 
take a lot of debris uh, to it. The one in the store was uh, a little uh, a little worse for the wear, but that's a lot of different hands. So everyone talks about the, the hinge on this uh, as being really very good. There's a metal hinge in there, and uh, so it will hold it. It's like a, it's almost like a piano hinge there, and that that really is pretty firm. This holds to the device with magnets, and we love magnets. There's the keyboard. The keyboard has gotten some pretty good reviews for a portable keyboard, um, and I typed on it at the store just a little bit, and um, and it felt pretty good. The trackpad seems to be everyone's. Um, least like feature and I can understand I mean this thing is super thin and so that's not going to be a it's got nice nice uh, travel there but you know that's not going to be a glass trackpad so there's only so much you can do in a little device like this right now maybe someday and here is the device itself and one of those nice little chewing gum pull tabs So, the Lenovo devices are often so minimalistic looking, and I really like that. Uh, I like the design here and the, the two-tone thing going on there. Um, it really is just a beautiful tablet. It feels really good in the hand, really substantial. Um, a lot of tablets feel kind of cheap, uh, but with the metal and, and everything, the, the bezels are all fairly flush and it has the uh, the pins to connect to the the keyboard right there it really is a, a beautiful thing let's see what's underneath it if there is anything underneath it ah, some instructions well there you go more instructions again I'm a guy we don't really read those until we absolutely have to and there is nothing else in the box. There's nothing else in the box. So let's get that all out of the way. Let's push this out of the way. And let's see about putting this thing together. So here we have the keyboard. And this should sit right down into... Ooh. Someone, one of the videos said it didn't have magnets to it, but that really does have magnets to it. That is in there really secure. So that is connected. Um, I was worried about that not having magnets in I knew this did. And it snaps right on there. So look how thin that is. And, and, and that's you know a full Chromebook, a Chromebook tablet. This pin slot, people who complained about the pin slot and uh, you know. It is what it is. Uh, I do have uh, USI pins that we're going to try with this, and uh, we'll see, but I, I don't know that that's very useful. I think at Lenovo, they do have a, a little bracket that fits in here that you can use for a, a, a pin, but uh, I haven't explored that yet. This has just been the unboxing. So that holds that pretty nice, nicely. And uh, there it is. That's the unboxing of the Lenovo Duet 5 uh, on sale at uh, Best Buy right now for $369. I'll put a link um, to Best Buy and I'll put a link to Amazon. You can get it on Amazon. Um, the configuration's a little different, but you can look at that. And uh, I'll, I'll be back after I've used this uh, for a little while. I'm really looking forward to it. This could be my one ring to rule them all. Uh, I can get rid of my, my Windows machines and, uh, uh, and two other tablets I have, and maybe I can just operate in this world with my phone and my Lenovo Duet 5. We'll see, and I'll keep you posted. So if you like this video, and I hope you did, and even if you didn't like this video, <laughs> give it an unlike, give it a like, Interact somehow with the video. Subscribe if you want to hear more of my ramblings, more of my box openings, glass blowing, you name it. I, you know, this, this channel is a, offers a myriad of, of uh, delights in my life. Anyway, like and subscribe. But most importantly, do what you love and love what you do. Life is just too short otherwise. God bless.
Thanks so very much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. That will encourage me to make more. Go out to the world in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the suffering. Honor everyone. Love and serve God, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God.